lot of organizations are looking to alternative means of recruitment for IT staff, uh, particularly graduates and offshoring. And what we're here to do today is to just show there is a viable, better option for the future, and that's investing in youth in the form of apprenticeships. University wasn't the best route to go down. Uh, having an environment where I can work in a real project, as used in the real world, uh, feels so much better to me. I've got a, a developer sitting right next to me who I can bounce questions off and say, yeah, um, I'm struggling with uh, integrating this database in this system. Having that is uh, second to none. One of the things that was brought that he brought quite early on was the enthusiasm for the work and for the skills involved and for the, the, the market and the arena. QA already brings people who care about this enough to want to go that extra mile to work with a company and to have that baptism of fire and that's why it's made such a difference for us. I would say that um, IT's growing industry, it's one of the, I think it's the leading industry, um, especially in the UK, and there's so many opportunities, so if you want a job, um, something that tailors to I I IT industry is um, definitely going to guarantee a position. It is male dominated, but if girls join, then you know, it's, it can sort of uh, even the playing ground as well. I'm kind of new to coding, new to the programming scenario and I'm very interested in it and I've spent some of my own time just to research it and try to understand it better myself but I'm having that backbone of a support either be the developer or even the assessor sent out by QA just to check if you're doing alright at the workplace how it's affecting you, is it benefiting myself and is there any problems I want to go over I've already had talks about developing into a developer maybe a couple of years from that I can go into a bit more senior role in the IT sector. The industry has got a lot older in the last 10 years, it's a lot fewer people going to university, so collectively we as an industry need to find other routes to recruit people in, particularly young people. You have to be constantly moving and changing and the only way to do that is through investing in young people who are more than willing and, and, and in fact enthused about the constant change that's involved there.